Hello. So, yeah, I've got some more weird monsters to talk about, of course. I am I never really seem to be at a, a, at a loss for monsters from the United States to talk about. So I guess that's why we're here. Uh, before I talk about this one, I probably ought to say, and I really hate to bother you with it, but please subscribe. It'll help me build the channel and get this to a lot more people and it'll help people find my artwork and that's a really important thing to me of course so i appreciate your help it may not be be a whole lot of work for you but it means a lot to me so thank you so much i won't bother you with it anymore though so uh on to another creature this one is actually a monstrous creature that i just finished a sculpture of as well so this one is the beast of bears it is reported very frequently to be a much larger than regular uh, brown bear uh, living in the southwest-ish kind of area of the United States, uh, sometimes in swamps, sometimes forests. Uh, it's been reported many times, and it's supposed to be this giant bear. Giant is not stressed as much, but oversized bear um, that is battle scarred and impossible to to kill apparently uh, a lot of people have tried to hurt to kill the thing um, but nobody's been able to take it down uh, so the way i sculpted it was i started with a polar bear which is the biggest bear uh, on the planet even a little bit bigger than a, a kodiak bear but a kodiak is a brown bear but just a really big version um, so what I, it was still not big enough to really come across as a oversized bear. It just looked like a regular sized, uh, you know, head and neck of a bear. So what I ended up doing is making it bigger, just kind of altered the form of the, the head to be a little bit larger than even the, uh, polar bear could be, uh, made it wider. So it would actually look more like a, uh, brown bear's head because they're they have a little bit broader kind of a head and re-sculpted it and did all sorts of different shapes there um then sculpted the crud out of it and made it really cool and furry and i made it into a kind of um much more relatable uh, hopefully a lot less terrifying and raw kind of a thing more of a uh, just a bear that happens to be scarred up and uh probably very old and <laughs> survived all sorts of things uh so it's a fantastic uh monster and i'm really really excited about the end product of the sculpture that's another one of those series of videos that i'll be sharing with you uh very soon i'll be as soon as i get a chance to i'll be putting those videos together and posting them on here as well so you can watch me make the beast of bears as well so that's pretty exciting, I think. Uh, hopefully you'll you'll join me for a whole lot of that as well. So uh, I do appreciate you joining me. There wasn't a whole lot to talk about here on this one, but it is a really cool visual uh, piece. So I'm really looking forward to sharing the, these kinds of things with everyone else. It was a fun process. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's more to come. It's still Halloween, so I'm not telling you a story. But I'll tell you about some more monsters. I'll see you soon.